The internet is full of bro science, fake knowledge, half information or propaganda. Your quest of reliable, authentic health information ends here. So subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and you never have to go anywhere else ever again. Hello everyone, how are you today? I'm Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. Welcome back to my channel. And as you know, I make videos about health and healthcare topics. And today I'm going to talk about fasting. And we are going to talk about the physiology of fasting. What are the changes that happen inside you when you are fasting? Uh, when is the glucose used? When do you lose weight, the maximum weight? When do you lose muscles? What are the side effects? What are the changes in the hormone? Right? If you're diabetic, what will happen, etc. etc. Everything will be covered today. So stay tuned. Let's start. There are many other researches which will actually, which do say that there is a lot of benefit of intermittent or otherwise fastings, right? But if you actually see the research of uh, calorie deficit versus intermittent fasting on any systemic reviews, you will see that that calorie deficit on a long term is actually more even more beneficial than intermittent fasting or other kind of fasting the only key here for intermittent fasting is that when you actually go on to calorie deficit your body actually tries to uh, adapt to the decreased calories available and in intermittent fasting this kind of adaptation is not seen less seen so that is the only advantage in short term but in long term studies weight gain weight loss whatever advantages are absolutely same and uh, intermittent fasting also has a very big huge variable because it's not necessary because in intermittent fasting either you're not eating for a day or for 16 hours or you know alternate day fasting something or the other there are so many types but ultimately it depends upon what you are eating when you are eating right if you're not eating for 16 hours in a day and then eating a lot during the rest of the eight hours then ultimately you're not going to lose weight so intermittent fasting in itself is not the main solution fasting itself is not actually a good thing um, because it actually increases your chances of having a gallstone also during fasting do you know the gallbladder size actually increases to four times because during fasting you are not using your gallbladder and therefore the bile and cholesterol everything pigments get accumulated there and stone chances increase 30 to 40 percent right so that is one one side effect kind of a thing and there are certain uh, benefits because your body actually tries to fight the acute stress response so obviously you will see uh, a lot of markers that okay your body has uh, enhanced activity but that enhanced activity will not be there um, as soon as you start resume your old diet so you need to understand the concepts here so this is all about fasting and physiology of fasting we will make another video on intermittent fasting very soon so stay connected with us and don't forget to ask your questions on instagram and uh, facebook uh, q and live q and a's and till next time i'm dr paramjeet and you're watching dr education stay connected stay healthy